Do we really want to fight in here? Well, God damn it! You guys are making this too hard. Hello, guys, and welcome back to some more Dragon Age Origins. Oh yeah, that's locked. Uh, we are still on the hunt for people we can talk to and mess around with. I did have to lower the quality settings just to make it crash less. So I'm hoping this helped a bit. It could also be that these thingies I have active right here are causing it to crash, but that's weird since it's part of the game. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. Traps? What, what do you need traps for? Old man Barlin said that Dark's farm may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. Barlin has poisoned traps on his land? Oh, he doesn't have any poison yet, thank the Maker. So his fields are just full of traps. He can be a bit eccentric. Eccentric? Well, why don't you just buy some then? None to be had. Balin has all the traps in the village in his fields. Alright, well, sorry I can't make traps. I, I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. Oh, such a nice lady. Don't worry about it. It's cool. I wish I could help you, but I am um, just stupid and I don't know how to make traps. We were lucky. We had the coin to pay the toll to those bandits. Many didn't. I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. A wonder? Choice. Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great, thanks. No, we kind of need her help. We can't have that now. A bed. Ooh, secret. Health root. Okay, that, not that secret. Is there really no way for me to get past those bandits? Okay, what if I talk to you? Elder Miriam. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> well, you seem to have a bad, um... Bad cough. Actually, I was more hoping I could help you. Don't need blades right now. We need beds, food, and an end to all these sad sots. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. I mean, I know a bit about herbalism. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travelers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Do I have enough already? Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? I didn't need them. Here you go. This will help many people. Okay, I already had them. This good. A good sort, you know. Items received. Uh, okay, not too much, but you know, I'll, I'll take it. You know, I helped a little bit. For me, that's a win. Only a tiny one. So, who is over here? Please don't crash me. You want one of my captors? I have nothing to say that would amuse you, Elf. Leave me in peace. You're a prisoner? Who put you there? I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. Well, I am Churam. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. You mock me. Or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, 
trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for Mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, that's what I would have expected. I suggest you leave me to my fate. But I find myself in need of skilled help. No doubt. What help do you seek? I'm sworn to defend the land against the Blight. The Blight? Are you a Grey Warden then? Uh, yes I am. Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. No, but I'm as weak as they come. Would you be revered? No, oh, wait, never mind. Would the revered mother let you free? Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance. It seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Alright, I'll leave you for now, though. I'll, I'll be back, though. I'll be, I'll be back. Farewell, then. Eaten alive by Darkspawn. That's cruel. I wonder why the revered mother is so afraid of him. Uh, do we know where she is, the revered mother? I'm not going over that certain crash death. The revered mother. All right, let's see. Where do I find this revered mother? Well, look what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about an elf by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen one. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. What makes you think we're traitors, huh? Tan Logan claims the Grey Wardens betrayed the King. Or haven't you heard? Enough talk. Take the Warden into custody. Kill the sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Right. Let's make this quick. You really want to fight in here? Well, God damn it! You guys are making this too hard. Right, he's hurt. One, we surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson, and we can all stop fighting now. Thank goodness for that. The Grey Wardens didn't betray King Kaelin. Loghain did. I was there. The turn pulled us out of a trap. The turn left the king to die. The Wardens led the king to his death. The turn could do nothing. Take a message to Loghain. W what do you want to tell him? He'll pay for what he's... <laughs> nah, the Grey Wardens know what really happened. I'll tell him right away. Now, thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. No, no I, I would appreciate the help. Normally I would get owned in a situation like that because I'm a mage, you know? I don't know if there was definitely... I don't even know if it was the right class to pick, but it's definitely not the, um, the strongest in close combat, that's for sure. Don't worry, I, I appreciate what you try to do. I am glad you found it in your heart to offer those men mercy. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. I am Shuram, a pleasure. They said you were a Grey Warden. I'm surprised you're an elf. But elves must want the Blight defeated as much as humans, no? I know Indeed. after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. Excuse me, what? Why so eager to come with me? The Maker told me to. The, the Maker? Can you elaborate? I, I know that sounds absolutely insane. But it's true. I had a dream. 
A vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair, and this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. I mean, very well. Uh, I will not turn away help when it's offered. That, that. Yeah, when it's offered. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. You will not? Oh, well, maybe I can remove the dog. You, you sit it out now, doggo. He's level 7 rogue. He's level 6. I, no, I'm a level 6 mage. Can, can I get rid of myself? <laughs> can I just take myself out of the equation completely? And he's a level 6 warrior. I mean, I could use a rogue. Don't worry, Hugo. You you get to sit this one out. <laughs> I, I I can I can find you later on if I want. You want you to to join us? Because right now you're just not that good of a warrior, I'm guessing. No, no, sorry. I I did mean to. That's how that works, huh? Indeed. Indeed. Except. All right. Good thing that she wants to help at least. Hello there. As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. This is something I can do for you. I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orle. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once more. Uh, how can I be of service? Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Taura, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. Fine, I'll take a look. Thank you. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. Maker's blessings light your path. Yeah, that's interesting. I had no idea what he was saying, though, but that is interesting. All right, hello there, Danelle. What's up? You're gonna make more trouble. We've about all we can stand in Lothering now. Sorry about the mess. They had it coming, and they were troubling up themselves. So long as you don't start more, I won't get excited. Right then, name's Denial. Sorry I can't chat much. As you see, we have a poor house. And what do you know about the caged quinari outside the village? That monster killed three families, torn them up like a beast. The cage is too good for it, but it's the Chantry's idea of mercy. All right, that's interesting. Have you heard of any rumors? There's knights from Redcliffe wandering the countryside, looking for the place where Andreste's sacred ashes are said to lie. Can you believe that? The urn holding her ashes is a myth, and yet these knights say they were sent to find it anyhow to heal Aureline. I didn't even know he was ill. Maybe when he's he was ill? Alive. If so, then times are even darker for Ferelden than any other thought. Anything else I can get you? Who were those men I fought exactly? When Tian Logang marched by. He left those fellas behind to look for Grey Wardens. I suppose that's you. You'll keep that to yourself, all right? I have no qualm with you, whatever the turn says. My grandfather served. Your secret's safe with me. What can I get you then? I don't suppose you have any rooms? Look around. People are sleeping on the floors and in the attic. That's how many rooms I don't have. All right, don't you be rude about it. I'll be going. Uh, no man, have you heard any rumors first, though? I hear the Dwarven King is passed on. Old as he was, he was probably poisoned or assassinated. That's how the Dwarves normally go out, isn't it? Anything else I can get you? Oh, that's something I need to mess around with in the future. Any other rumors? Fact the maker, we didn't lose Tien Logain at Ostagar. 
He pulled his troops out just in time, so it said. Without him, we'd be lost. Anything else I can get you? That pisses me off. I'll be going. <laughs> Speed your way. This left us to die. Sister, black down, uh, Balin. Who are you? You're here about food. Take it up with that blade and run by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. So you're out of food, huh? Oh, mess of refugees come in and leave near every night. All have hungry bellies, sad tails, and mementos for barter. I sold that bleed merchant outside about half my larder two weeks back, and now he's charging outrageous sums for all my food. Uh, okay, that makes... Don't worry, I took care of it. You did? Well, I don't know what to say to that. Thanks. Try and show me what you got, buddy. Ooh. Uh, that's what I got. This is what he has. Dirty leather, leather gloves. I mean, I do have some stuff I could buy. Since I robbed the bandits, I can just, you know. Requires 12 strength. I can't afford that one. I can afford this one, though. Metal round thingy. 12 strength. Note of a cord. Shiny gold ring. I can actually give gifts. That's new. I, I didn't even know that. Thorn of the dead gods. Short bow, ice arrow, lightning rod. I mean, it's better than mine. I don't know about electricity damage though, since I don't really have electricity yet. But I can't buy that one anyway. God damn it, I, just, I saw that. I got nothing. That I want at least. Irregular sparks. Scraping the barrel. Not all people who pledge to aid the blacks on regulars in terms of need. Those times are now. Here you will find the three letters of conscription. Deliver them to the people listed below. Return the regulars for your payment. Should any of these people refuse, do what you must to get them to honor their oaths. Uh, don't deal with the deserters. To do this, you will be rewarded. These deserters took with them valuable supplies. Crucial to the regular's future as a supplier of martial services. Deal with these waste of space as you see as you see fit. Uh, I have not even been anywhere there yet. So, all right, interesting. Refugee Bard. Can you can you play a song for me? Please, I must continue playing, else I earn no coin tonight. Can I play? I am so disappointed right now. I just play what the innkeep asks. We need his coin to travel north. Right, then you play whatever the innkeeper asks, I guess. And who are you people? You're the cook. Do have any elves tracking Dirtian? Out. No. So oh, mean. I want to go home. Oh, so this isn't your home? Did you speak to that knight yesterday? Oh, Said dude. From Redcliffe. He talked to everyone in the town. How are we supposed to know where he's going? 
All right, let's uh, talk to her first. What do you wish of me? Uh, I'd like to discuss something personal. Uh, is she willing to do that? We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. You are a heartless shrew, you know that. <laughs> no. Uh, why are you still here? I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. No, I don't want you to leave. Then I assume our discussion ends here. Is a bruise of that, really? But why? <laughs> What do you wish of me? Something personal? You're hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. Never mind. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to talk to Elisa then. Um, I'd like to ask you something. Ask away. What can a Templar do exactly? Uh, so how did you become a Grey Warden? Said I'll... Well, so you said this, I'll aim and race you. Did I say that? I meant that dogs raised me. Giant slobbering dogs from the Anderfells. A whole pack of them, in fact. That's not what I remember you telling Flemeth. Well, if you're going to go and pay attention to the facts, then fine, fine. Let's see, how do I explain this? I'm a bastard. And before you make any smart comments, I mean the fatherless kind. My mother was a serving girl in Redcliffe Castle who died when I was very young. Arleman wasn't my father, but he took me in anyhow and put a roof over my head. It was good to me, and he didn't have to be. I respect the man, and I don't blame him any more for sending me off to the Chantry once I was old enough. Aye, right, but why did he send you off to the Chantry? Arleman eventually married a young woman from Orlais, which caused all sorts of problems between him and the king because it was so soon after the war. But he loved her. Anyhow... Then you, Arlesa, resented the rumors which pegged me as his bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Isle didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age ten. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. What an awful thing to do to a child. Maybe. She felt threatened by my presence, I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself, I bet. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there, and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. You think the Isle will help us? I think so, yes. This news we've heard about him being sick disturbs me, though. I wonder if we won't discover that Loghain has come to the same conclusion as we have. Anyway, that's really all there is to the story. Okay, well, so I can just ask some questions like what that. What do you wish of me? All right, let's see if I can make a go on my good side again. I'd like to ask you something. If you must. How did you become a shape changer? Yeah, you can change, you can change into a spider. That's right. I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches. Saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike. Dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. So your mother has been doing this for a long time then? Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Alright, um, can you change into other human forms as well? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, 
Learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. And can anyone become a shape changer? Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. Tis a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. Indeed, you could learn the spells required if I cared to teach you. Okay, that's cool. You spend a lot of time as an animal. There were nights when the wilds called to me. Tis true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, proud shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human. I am under no illusions to the contrary. And what do other animals think of you when you're changed? They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus, they cannot speak, even were I to ask. I have heard of magic like that before, so that's a lie. That's all I wanted to ask. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? <laughs> Can I just say yes? Maybe tied to a flagpole and tickled. <laughs> Charlie, let's go with this one. Maybe tied to a flagpole and tickled. I wouldn't advise it. But enough of such talk. Let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. Alistair approves and... Okay, that's nice. Is there someone to a flagpole and tickled him? Tickle, tickle, tickle. Well, that is also going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, click that like button. If you want to see more from me, search for 8000. Click the subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.